Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. This is the latest from Beanstown 106, Jelly Beans build number 11 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. And this is based off of the latest over-the-air update, VRBL K3 Android 4.1.1. Now, why is this not based off the new leak? Well, because Bean said by the time he got this one done, there'll be another leak coming out and have to do it again. Plus, there were not that many features, new features in it, and we're just going to wait. So... As of now, it will be based off of Android 4.1.1, which is no problems. Uh, well, the new cool thing is, is that Jelly Beans is now officially uh, updatable by over-the-air updates. Uh, Beans can now push over-the-air updates to your phone to update your ROM for you when it comes out, so you will always have the latest updated ROM from Beans, which is a pretty cool feature. Also, AOSP email with uh, the security disabled, that's been added. He added the root detection killer, so now your phone says normal instead of modified. LidDroid 23 toggles, the to shut down animation, uh, new boot animation, which I'll show you in a little bit. He fixed the uh, battery cutoff, which uh, if you look up here, I don't see any battery cutoff. So but I know there were people that were having problems with it, so it should be fixed on this one. You do have several different battery choices in the Aroma installer. He also fixed some battery drain that if you noticed in the last couple builds, there's been some big battery drain. He said he found some things, he tweaked it, and we should have much better battery, which we will see over the next few days as everything settles in, okay? He updated some of the uh, theming for the ROM as well. So he updated the phone. You got that there. You got your contacts. So all these are inverted in black. AOSP messaging is also an option. Uh, and you can choose the inverted option as well. This is all in Aroma Installer. So those are a few things that are inverted. I inverted a few other things. Uh, downloaded the Gtalk that's been inverted. The Play Store that's been inverted. Also the Gmail that's been inverted. So I've been kind of just playing around with uh, inverted apps lately. And, of course, the Google Now, which has been inverted which is pretty sweet. So uh, that's all stuff you're going to have to add. The phone, the contacts, the messaging will be uh, inverted stock, okay? So that's that. Now let's go into the settings menu here, going down to About Phone. You can see we're on Android 4.1.1, the VRB MA2 baseband. That's something you're going to have to do on your own. The ROM will not do that. That is from the latest leak. And Lean Kernel 2.0, that's the kernel that we're on. Well, 2.0 is not included in the ROM. We understand that. Uh, actually, uh, the ROM was coming out at the same time as the kernel was, and so Beans did not get a chance to get it into the ROM. So 1.8, uh, Lean Kernel, and KT747, and Beans Custom Stock ROM, or Stock Kernel, come as the three choices in Aroma. Once you flash one of them, then you can go and flash 2.0 if you want to use Lean Kernel, okay? So that's taking care of that. Going into the settings menu here, you can see it looks like AOSP, yet it's uh, still TouchWiz, still has all the TouchWiz features to it. Uh, starting from the top, all the normal stuff that we're used to seeing. You do have the custom settings menu, which you do have the over-the-air update center. This is where you're going to do your over-the-air updates. Uh, it'll ask you if you don't, if you have Wi-Fi, if you want to enable Wi-Fi, if it's not enabled so that you don't use your data plan, which is pretty cool. You also have headphone shortcut settings, battery bar settings, and toggle settings, and that's going to be in your custom settings menu. Normal stuff, normal normal stuff, normal stuff, lock screen. I'm going to go down to lock screen options here. You do have a choice to choose different lock screens and all of these will work. It's not a couple of them that won't and a couple of them that will. They all work if they're on here, okay? LG Optimus is what I'm on right now, so let's kind of show you what some of these look like. This one you hold in the center and drag and it will uh, unlock it for you. So that's what the LG Optimus lock screen looks like. Going back in here, we're going to play with the BlackBerry 10. This is the one with the shadow. If you've seen this one yet, you actually have a shadow. You can like a lampshade or something you're pulling up and down. So you can unlock it that way. Going back in. Oops, don't want to go to location. Lock screen, options. And Acer Cloud will be the final one that we, uh, it's not common for us. The other ones are TouchWiz and AOSP. This one's kind of like uh, shades opening up. Shades open up to your lock screen wallpaper and then to your home screen. So uh, those are the different lock screens that are our choices here with uh, Jelly Beans build number 11. The rest of this stuff, pretty normal. The cloud option is left in here. Da, 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 da. Everything's good. So that's the settings menu in Jelly Beans build number 11. Back out to the home screen here. I want to look at some of the other things that uh, he did add. Uh, da, 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 da. You do have the toggle option to have either blue or white up top. It does have the 23 toggle mod, so you can add different uh, toggles, take them away. And you do have the choice between text under each one of those as well, and that's all a choice in your Aroma installer. I chose not to have any of the text, okay? Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, the camera. The uh, Galaxy S3 camera is an option. Also, the Note 2 camera and gallery is an option. I chose the S3 camera, which you can see a 
looks like there's some blue theming on the focus there. It looks like this has been uh, played with a little bit up here, some theming. Uh, we got a blue button now. So it looks like the Galaxy S3 camera has been played with and themed a little bit, which is always awesome. You also get the Android 4.2 camera, and this one does have working Photosphere. This is one that I pulled off of a website for the Galaxy Nexus. It had Photosphere working, and me and Beans have been using this one ever since. So this is also included along with the 4.2 gallery as well, okay? All right, let's go over and check out system tuning here, and we're going to show you the kernel. Of course, I showed you I'm on 2.0, a lean kernel. It's overclockable up to 1.9 gigahertz and down to 384 megahertz. I keep mine on 151. doesn't really uh, bother me that much. This is something new for 2.0. If you are using this kernel, uh, 2.0 does not have the vmin override anymore, which means that it will, it will be set at 1150. Your voltages will be, but you'll be able to change them and have them stick without going into terminal emulator and typing in lkconfig and all that like we have done for the last several builds. So that has been taken away. You're now able to change your voltages without going into terminal and they will stick. Okay? So that's with the kernel and that's in system tuner. GPS, wanted to make sure we take a look at GPS to see, of course, I'm inside, so it's not going to light up and, and lock on as quick as it would if I was outside. 13, 14, 15 out of 20, not too bad. Let's see if we can get to 16. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> uh, going to Google Maps just to make sure it's got me in the right location, because you never know. It might have a, a few miles away, a few states away. You never know. So uh, looking here, you can see, yes, it does have me in the right location. So GPS is working great. Location's working good as well, and there's no problems with that at all. Uh, very smooth, very quick, no problems with uh, any lag or anything like that. Going into the app drawer is the same thing. We'll go to the apps. You can see uh, if it blurs the screen, it's definitely fast and it's definitely not lagging. So uh, I've got no problems with it at all. You can choose the option for the TouchWiz launcher or the Nova launcher or other launchers in your uh, Aroma installer as well. I choose to get the TouchWiz launcher, and then if I want to add another launcher, they're available in the Play Store, and I can download them and still come back to this one. So that's my advice on that one, okay? Uh, what else did I want to show you here? I mean, I've showed you just a few of the things that you can do with this ROM. It's the latest from Beanstown 106, Jelly Beans build number 11. Of course, you're, you can get more deeper into the ROM and play with different settings and see different cool things and different bugs that are going to be in there. I've just kind of scratched the surface, showed you some of the new stuff that he's put in there, and uh, I hope you have fun with it. Don't forget to check out some of my other awesome videos over at uh, YouTube.com. Android University, all one word, all the latest and greatest ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I do a good job. I hope I do a good job of trying to stay up to date. It's a lot of hard work flashing one day after another after another, but I uh, have a lot of fun with it. So I appreciate you watching my videos. Every single one of you who subscribe, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe, all right? Now, before we go, I wanted to show you the brand new Jelly Beans boot animation. This is brand new for this build. There's the Samsung Galaxy S3 in pink from iMozion's Lean Kernel, which I have no problem with, by the way. And the new Jelly Beans boot animation. Pretty sweet, huh? It's got the ice cream sandwich blue. You got the ice cream sandwich blue uh, heads on the Android guys full of jelly beans, and they're falling from the sky. And uh, it's a very HD look, too. So that is the brand new jelly beans boot animation that comes with Build 11 from Beanstown 106. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a great rest of your day. I'll put a link in the description so you can download this ROM and enjoy. All right? See ya!